In this video, I want to show you how I cook Chinese broccoli by following a few simple steps. If you do it correctly, you should be able to produce a vegetable that is crispy, drizzled with the sauce that flavor with ginger and garlic oil in less than 50 minutes. So let's get started. Step 1. Prepare the Chinese broccoli. Choose the bunch with smaller stalks, which is more tender and less fibery. Cut off the stem. Trim the Chinese broccoli. Trim off the fibery outer layer of the stalk. You can do so either with the paring knife or a vegetable peeler. Step 2. Prepare the sauce. I have to admit that the name of the recipe is oversimplified and give an impression that it only involves oyster sauce. In fact, the sauce is a combination of a list of ingredients like soy sauce. Soy sauce has powerful umami which can pump up the overall flavor of the gailan, the Chinese broccoli. Chinese broccoli has a slight bitter taste. Hence, it is always necessary to add a small amount of sugar to balance the bitterness. Turn up the heat to dissolve the sugar. Then add some wine. Reduce the amount to the desired thickness. Turn off the heat. Add a dash of sesame oil to the above ingredients once the sugar is dissolved and removed from heat. Sesame oil will lose its flavor due to prolonged heating. Sauteing the finely chopped garlic until golden brown and crispy. Keep it at low flame as it can burn quickly. Remove the garlic and use the infused oil to stir fry the vegetables. The ginger pieces should be cut into this shape of about 1 egg inch thick and sauteing with the oil. The first method is blanching. Add some salt to flavor the water. Include a quarter teaspoon of baking soda too. Baking soda to ensure the vegetables stay green throughout the cooking. Blanch the vegetables in a wok or stock pot filled with boiling water with some oil. The oil will coat on the vegetables and leave a glossy sheen. Blanch the Chinese broccoli for 3 minutes or until it is tender. How long it takes depends on the size of the stalk. Baker stalks need to cook longer naturally. Pick up one to try is the best way to decide when you should remove it from the water. The second method is stir frying it. You can saute the whole cloves of garlic uncut. The garlic cloves can be served together with the vegetables. Add the ginger to the wok and a mixture of oyster sauce, soy sauce and sugar. Add a small amount of water. Turn up the heat to dissolve the sugar. Then add some wine. Reduce the amount to the desired thickness. Turn off the heat and add some sesame oil. Remove and set aside. Next, stir fry the vegetable with garlic and ginger oil in a wok until it is tender but remains crispy. I prefer to stir fry the vegetable for a minute. Then, follow by adding 2 tablespoons of water and put on the wok cover. Let the vegetables steam for 3 minutes and then uncover. By then, the water should have evaporated. Now, the actual timing depends on the size of the vegetables. Pick up one and try if you want to be sure it cooks perfectly. To serve, 
Arrange the Chinese broccoli on a plate. Drizzle the sauce on top. Garnish with the fried garlic. This is how I cook Chinese broccoli, either blanching it or stir-frying it. You can download the recipe and read more details about Chinese broccoli at my blog, tasteasianfood.com Chinese Broccoli. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the button below. And you'll find many more of the similar Asian dishes out there. Thanks for joining me today. My name is KB Kwan. Until then, I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.